pit and dark pit, but it is going to be the dark pit for this matchup. Game one between the two of them, Canines putting us back into the time machine and going back to Smash 4 for this one as we pull out the Bayonetta. And I hope this is a button. Yeah, this is a button. You haven't seen this character from him in a while, especially since he was known more for his chic in Smash 4. And it's also, I, I say fairly recently, but it's been a few months at this point. Picked up by Thunder Gaming as well, doing really good stuff with them as we move back to PS2 for this matchup. Quick fist bump exchange between the two of them. Oh, he's going to be, okay. It is Lucina. So it is going to be Lucina against Dark Pit. This will be a bit of an interesting one. I know Canines has a slight bit of matchup experience from his times facing Kiraflax, who of course does secondary this character. Have to see who he, how he fares against a player who mains the pits. Approaching fair as he goes and gets the downer afterwards, making his presence felt fair through the platform, and he's just tossing him all about. Another fair. He's out of a jump, but. Of course, Pit with his multiple jumps and that high recovery is going to be able to make that back. But consecutive missed text into the Dancing Blade is going to spell the end of that first stock. Canines Bruce only taking 12% on that first stock and that quick Dolphin Slash to just protect himself. He's already lapped him in percent. Taking him back. A bit late on the Trump, but still able to capitalize with an air afterwards. Down throw, unable to find the up air afterwards. So our back air, but protecting himself with the side special on good shield grab. And the back air as well, actually, in just over a minute. Canines Bruce only taking 48%. Goveg is down to his final stock. Quick couple of rapid jabs as Canines goes for the approaching air. Excellent dash attack to get forward, but Another back air. And protecting himself with the falling air, or the falling fair, excuse me. Another one as he gets up from the platform, up from the ledge. And as he crossed up the shield, knew that he didn't want to land because that would have been either a free grab or even an F tilt. And Canines reads the jump spectacularly. It's a three stock to begin this set as Govek just looked devoid of any answers. A triumphant performance from start to finish. And actually, I believe we're going to be joined for game two by the overall number one seed here today, Charlie the King. He is going to be switching back to Wolf for this one. How's it going, Charlie? Doing well, thank I. Hopefully we should be able. So as we get this one started, Canine's making the switch back to Wolf. All right. Still can't hear myself. I can hear you. Oh, Don't okay, work. perfect. All right. Well, Sean Canine guess Bruce versus Goveg. Interesting matchup. Pit versus Wolf. Something Canine is very familiar with. He literally lives with Kiraflax. One of Kiraflax's uh, co-mains. They play this matchup all the time. Familiar, the familiarity absolutely has to be there. Almost got the wolf flash off the soft air too. But yeah, tried to go for the tech chase, but Goveg didn't bite. Stayed in his spot. Punishes the S smash with the dash attack though. All right, went for the Tomahawk up smash. Goveg aware enough to hold shield and no DI on that sour spot back air. We'll be taking the stock from K9. Only 24% has a very hefty lead right now. It's a free punish. Able to get some of these spare combos going, but right to the grab from Goveg. Ooh, got him with that forward air into F tilt. Clean combo. Got up attack though, will protect himself. And at that close range, just really picked the wrong option, but went unpunished. Ooh, went for the wolf flash after that dash check up air. Not a bad uh, choice at all. Goveg jumping the opposite direction though, so he wasn't able to get it. 
one thing Govek's really been doing from not only this first game, but also the second game as well, if he is out of one or more of his jumps, he'll opt to go for a returning fair just to protect himself on top of the platform, which uh -huh. Canines is now just starting to see and really holding shield, knowing that it's either going to cross him up or just leave him above him, and he just can cover both of those either with a grab or up. Smash. Right, it's a, it's a classic pit move. Just drifting back and forward, airing when you're out of your jump. Or just in general to mix up your opponents. It is pretty hard to punish in some cases. And right now, K9 reacts to that roll in F smash and hit him with an up smash of his own. Now he's up two, three stocks to one here in this second game of the set. Good down throw dash attack to another dash attack. And the back air will leave him in a mistech situation on top of the platform. K9 right now running away with this game. Let's see if Govex is going to be able to bring this bow. Ooh, yeah. This pineapple himself underneath the platform. And K9's Bruce. Not even losing a stock that entire set. Wow. <laughs> and I'm taking that 2-0 over Govek. Looks like they both had a good time. Yeah, dominant performance from him as the favorite is going to be moving on by quite a long margin. Both the Lucina and the Wolf looking really clean there. You want Lucina in game one? He did. <laughs> K9's just passing back, passing by the commentator cam just What's to get 